Okay. Uh, ben Piscopo here again at the uh, YouTube channel with a higher bifidum. At the start of this video, the stopwatch is 19, 20 seconds from the previous videos that are made on preparing the meat. I'm going to see how fast I can set this food up and get this ready. Charge battery. Got two. Two and a half quantities, that's uh, 8 ounces, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, slightly beyond a pound, and the meat portion to see how fast I could set this up to get ready for a day's work. Right now, as of this video, it's 4.58 a.m. on Monday. Here's how you do this. Carbs can go a lot faster. This is the source of complete sources of carbohydrates. This water is already at a boil. How long that's actually going to take you to get that to boil, well, that's debatable. I don't know. Take this. Halfway decent scissors. Pump any of these up. Fulmite, meaning the surface that can potentially bring this up here that could potentially carry a COVID-19 type of corona or respiratory illness. In the days that is, you could easily put what you have into a, its own physical quarantine before you use it or clean it off. Dishwashing soap and water could do that as well. So one. You know what? I might not even need that. It's possible that it might all fit. Each one of these packages says to use four cups of water for the entire container. So with measuring, you can pull that off. Take this. This is two. So. Two and um, 16 ounces. This is the remaining carefully measured four. This clips on there. You get them at a better price of dollar store than Whole Foods. In addition to that, part of this is going to involve the use of um, colored electrical tape that's nowhere as near as sticky as the Super 88 black kind that you get in the Home Depot or Lowe's. You take this as such Carefully lean forward to get it in. If you don't do it right, you'll spill it all over the place. First quantity in a Pyrex boral silicate uh, measuring cup. Four. Make sure this is completely over the top so you don't accidentally spill it. Four cups. You gotta make sure that you have enough water initially to do it. Eight cups. And a large enough uh, bowl that will fit everything. Two more. For nine, ten cups. As such. Put this back on here. Again, take this, pour it in. You got just enough room for that with a power drill. This is an old um, DC 928 cordless DeWalt modified. To do that, you have to shave these off with a rotary tool or a file in order to get this adapter in. Like this. Here, here, this is ready. Start out in your slowest position. Go too fast, it'll go all over the place. It reconstitutes.
work it in. Make sure you go around and around and around and around. That way you're guaranteed there'll be no water and no power. Get more of it, switch your setting. Slightly trickle the trigger on, you see that, so you can get it all the way in that position. You go to the third and highest, like a potentiometer, a real stat, or a dimmer switch on a light, or a control knob on a radio. Control your speed, slowly build up that speed until it's safe. If you go too fast, it'll go all over the place. Up to six minutes, three seconds. Making a little bit of a mess, but not too much, not too much. Okay. That previous egg beater from the other two videos is actually not quite as good because it's only got three separate continuous settings. Can't have variable speed with it. About a full minute, six minutes. Now that should work. Over to the sink. Automatic chuck, take that out. Drill is used. There. To take this large enough spoon for that purpose, carefully get it inside these containers. These containers, um, called uh, packet, Trademark. Registered trademark. I don't see a patent on this. It says uh, P A C K I T. That's where this comes from. They're expensive. They're not cheap, but they do work relatively well. And there's a trick to get this set up so that it'll also seal for you. They go further than this. This comes from Walmart. It's not quite as good, no matter how hard you try to seal that, it may still make a really bad mess on you. You get these two filled up here. They'll hold a higher volume. Extremely important to remember that caffeinated beverages in a high quantity can do a lot more harm than good. There is a limit to what they're going to do to help you. And that alone is not going to carry you. There's no substitute for a parameter, a set of limits in your rest for a lot of people, preferably six to eight hours. And that's not going to mean anything without glycogen getting to your muscles, your brain, from things like the mashed potatoes, foods like the mashed potatoes, the bread, the pastas, things that have complex carbs. And um, complete sources of all of the amino acids that make up the human protein, like I said in the previous videos, that you're only going to get from meat and dairy, again. This is more than likely not kosher. This is not according to Jewish dietary guidelines. Doing what I have to do to survive. It's not deliberate. It's not on purpose. There's way more to that than not consuming pork products. Not mixing meat with dairy products. So, take this camera off. Go up here. Put this off this tripod. You look and you'll see this is the previous meat cooked from the other two videos. There's enough there to go a good solid 10 days. Another important thing to remember when you got a polypropylene food grade bucket, 
that's clean, if you don't clean all of the chicken juice and everything out of that and that poultry, that's going to turn rotten on you. You could take the remainder of this and eat it in order to safely get in vitamins. Now take meat portions. One of these is already on this dish. Up to 10 minutes, 11 minutes. We've got one. Two, say, three of these. Good. And get this up to a halfway decent temperature. There is no, usually no rotisserie type functions in a microwave. So let's, with my lame wannabe, maladapted, uh, video and camera skills. Let's take this, shine it on this microwave, get this here, take this, put it in here, turn it on, 100 will give you a minute. Remember, there are only 60 seconds in a minute, not 100. That's what's important to understand when you're calculating percentages. When you're trying to figure out time, in say a running race, which I'll go over at some later time when I'm trying to understand, trying to explain basic mathematics, percentages, and linear algebra, basic algebra, which typically in college courses, if somebody didn't do that great in high school, great in high school would come in two parts. Take that at 30, get all three pieces, it's very simply, easily flip them over. Get it back in, run, remain 27 seconds. I'm not that great at doing that. I'm not a chef, not a cook. Understanding elementary concepts of such is extremely important though. Get that out. Poor man's um, unconventional rotisserie. Take them out. Flip them over again. Put it back in. 100 for a full minute. No, 30, let's say 30 more seconds. Later in the day, you might have a microwave or an alternative heat source, like I do, where I go to my place of employment. All right, 30 seconds. Now, take this, pan this camera again, this tripod. Focus it back up. Everything on the uh, kitchen counter. Get these three here. Take this fork. Covering, put that there. If you ask me, I say have an individual fork for each quantity of your food. Preferably a serrated knife, typically used for bread, not necessarily a steak knife. Cut each one of these in half. Put the portions inside here on the back side with that partitioner. They're not perfect, they come apart, but they do work. Take this piece that is slightly larger, cut this, have these pieces go here, then again maybe not. And some of this eat here and now, some for later. Put this here. Bisect this chicken cut in half, one on this side, one on that side. Now, after that, 
literally whatever given gravy that you like. This may make the food go bad a little quicker, but not that quick. Carefully get this in. It'll taste a little better. That'll make it easier for you to eat. Get this in here as such. If you're in a real rush, that'll cool it down faster. Now the forks put inside of here, here to what, 15 to 16 minutes here, take these covers, place them on top, carefully put them inside, always remember that at a later period, never put metal objects into a microwave. It'll fry the magnetron, screw it up, and damage it, as was described on the television show of Mythbusters on Discovery Channel. Jamie Hyman and his crew. No tin foil. Another thing my mother tried to explain to me, and I should have listened to her. Or if you have gold trim or some fancy designs around a... Uh, dish, an expensive quality one with that, for both cosmetic use and function, yep. this here, um, you can afford that, but remember and understand that these will hold this better than that. To 17 minutes, take your colored electrical tape as I have described before, preferably an EMT shear, or regular scissors will cut this easier than this. As long as you don't have anything that's toxic that shouldn't be in a food environment, is this. Take this, carefully put it around here. Get it in, as you're going, take it, as such, try to curl it into these sides, try to like press it into these sides, so you'll have a better seal than the manufacturer had made. Like this, here, here. When you're done using this, you could get it off a lot easier. Conventional art and craft paper scissors. Same with steel. That off. Two more pieces. Here. Like this. There's elasticity so you can stretch it. Going this way. Set that up so it's not a nightmare when you're trying to remove it. And go around here. Like this. That's it. That, not doing that with the plastic in the Walmart container because I plan on reusing it at a later time. That there. Now set this up with this one just as quick. Got that in. Scissors always work better than curling it. Cut that there. Second and third piece, just like previously, over here. Pull a little, going horizontally, so you have rigidity to it. Good. Last one.
Got it. These will be able to go inside of a backpack easier. There, you now have, by doing this, you would now have in 20 minutes and 32 seconds, that's ready. So you got that, these, a beverage of soda, okay, with you, you know it won't go bad as quick. Three energy drinks of your choice of a 20 ounce quantity. The only thing that seems to work good and safe for me is NOS. Three of these, that beverage, two power banks with the necessary adapters, whether you work with an Apple iPhone, a Blackberry, or a Motorola um, Type C. There's a, a B, and C. This is the phone that I'm using. Goes into there with the proper connector at the right length. Don't get an unnecessary long length, and you're all set and ready to go. That was all prepared in about 20 minutes. This is in the range of 4,000 calories. Calories measure heat and energy. They convert the British thermal units Joules, I net watts. I never really was a, fa a, f a fan of that in the first place. Very much like frequency and cycles a second. The same units of measurement are used to measure different types of phenomena, like 60 hertz, alternating current coming out of uh, a, a, an electrical receptacle in your house and home or somewhere else or the clock speed on a chip in the computer in that cell phone or the desktop above me on the second floor or radio frequency transmitting through the air so that can be confusing and different uses of that same measurement are not convertible so really realistically you should well this is kind of about out of topic for another time trying to explain nutrition is how I know it but that total amount of a given type of nutrient, how it's described, how it's used, and how it goes into you, is more important than simple numbers of calories. Thank you for watching this. If you are, as of uh, the production of this video, I've gotten four video, four views from previous subscribers on the other ones making the meat. Hopefully, there will be more. Um, you don't have to subscribe to a pa my Patreon account. I don't have one. People, again, I'm sort of struggling to get by. It is believed on good evidence that 40 million people are out of work. And um, America and the world as we know it is in a bad state of affairs. Thank you.